Hi, welcome back to the Dunwich Legacy. I'm James. I'm Amber. And today we are going to be playing episode 1A, Extracurricular Activity. Uh, last week we ran through The House Always Wins and we managed to save Francis Morgan from whatever unholy abominations were rampaging through the... It was called the Conglomeration of Spheres. It basically looked like balls in ooze. That sounded bad. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, but let's go from there. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we saved Dr. Francis Morgan from the Clover Club uh, in the nick of time, rushing away from the conglomeration of spheres. And now we suspect that Professor Warren Rice is in serious danger. So we are heading over to Miskatonic University, and we arrive at the Miskatonic Quad. And it's probably around midnight. Uh, as a reminder, I'm playing Jim Culvert. And I'm playing Jenny Barnes. And let's see what's going on here. After hours, Professor Rice was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the Humanities Building. Always in the Humanities Building. Oh, the Humanities! <laughs> Sorry. We have arrived at the Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over, because it's after midnight. And a mysterious silence hangs over the air in the quad. All right, so let's get this party started. I'm going to draw my five cards. Mm -hmm. And collect my two resources. Mm -hmm. And decide if I want to keep or mulligan any of this business. <laughs> well, I'm going to mulligan one. Yeah. And... OK, that works. So, I'm going to shuffle him in. I'm going to mulligan my flashlight. I'm not telling you what I did. I mean, I know it's really dark, and I know a flashlight would be handy after midnight, but I'm some kind of weird musical magician, and so I don't believe in flashlights. What's this card? I hope it's good. Uh, what's my weakness? So we're going to discard it. Well, if you're a musician and it's your weakness, I'm guessing money? My, my, uh, my character weakness is actually called Final Rhapsody. Because I am a musician. Yeah, you're the musician. <laughs> but, uh, so I don't actually know if it's in the rules if I'm supposed to discard the weakness if you draw it in your opening hand. Uh, I'm going to. If that's wrong, let us know. All right, let's that's see if I, I drew something too. else. Okay, that's fine. Uh... All right, so I'm ready. I'm going to keep this. Uh, we arrived at Miskatonic Quad, so it flips. Um, there are no clues placed on it, and it gives us our resign option. We can't find rice anywhere, and we leave campus, hoping Armitage will forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so we do need, in order to trigger the next act, we need six clues. So we need to start investigating around... Man, we just got attacked, right? So when we escaped the Clover Club Lounge, there were all kinds of horrifying monsters. Yep. So I'm going to spend my first action to collect a resource. Then I'm going to spend all three resources to cast to this shriveling spell. I have it ready. That's what the picture looks like. It disintegrates monsters. I guess it shrivels them. Um, and then for my third and final action... Oh, boy. Um, where'd a professor be? Man, I'm going to go to the science building. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to go to the library. Orn Library. You must spend one additional action to investigate the Orn Library. That makes sense. Uh, because it is a labyrinth of dusty bookshelves and poorly lit halls. Jenny? Well, uh... Just because everything is better with a little bit of light, I'm going to have a flashlight on hand, which costs me both my resources, it looks like. Mm -hmm. But since I'm that kind of person, I'm going to use the other two actions to get two resources. All right. So. This does have three charges on it. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. so that doesn't, the charges are different from the money, but you use All the right. same token to indicate that you do, got the thing. Thank you. Uh, and then that's the end of the round. Basically, we refresh our business, but there's nothing to refresh. There are no monsters attacking us. So let me just make sure we get this right. Yep. Uh, so we advance the doom track. 
Uh, we have one of seven, and then as lead investigator, I draw the first threat. Do we pick up the resources and pick the new card before we do this monster phase? Yeah, or you're after? right. You're right. We draw a card and gain a resource. Okay. We are terrible at remembering when this happens, but it happens, so... But you do gain two resources, because you're cool like that. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Love that. All right, so my treachery card. Right. Offer of power. I must either draw two cards and put two doom on the current agenda, or take two horror. Uh, Choose wisely. I'm going to take the two horror, because I have a, car, a handful of cards, and the last time I got greedy, it boned me, so... <laughs> My turn? Yeah. Treachery. Beyond the veil. Wow, that did not look like the word veil for a second. Hex. Surge. Crud. So you resolve the card, and then another one comes out. Okay. Revelation. Put be Beyond the Veil into play in your threat area if there is no copy of Beyond the Veil in your threat area. Forced. If your deck has no cards in it, take 10 damage and discard Beyond the Veil. Well, luckily my deck has cards in it. Yeah, but that's interesting. So th this hangs out in your threatened area. Oh, right. Sorry. And it sounds like this encounter is going to try and mill us out. Yeah. Uh, if you don't play magic, um, incidentally, if you do play magic, you should watch our other videos. But if you don't play magic, uh, milling out means that you have all the cards in your library discarded. Good to know. But that was a surge. So another treachery. Yay. Ancient evils. Place one doom on the current agenda. Sorry. This effect can cause the current... Well, we all knew that. It can cause the current agenda to advance, but since we need seven, that will yeah, not happen. A, we've got a little while to go. Yes. So, that's done. All right. Uh, now i got to do... Oh, so there are one per investigator clues on Orn Library, and it takes an additional action to investigate. Okay. I'm just going to do this. Just make it happen. Uh, I'm going to... Use as my first action, draw into the flame. Draw the top card of the encounter deck, and then discover two clues at my location. Uh, offer of power. You must either draw two cards and place two doom on the current agenda, or take two horror. Well, that sucks. Uh, Man, so, you're losing your mind fast. We just ran away from some kind of celestial monster, and it's really dark and spooky here. Uh, but I'm going to get these two clues. So that was my first action. Okay. And then my second action, I'm going to move, well, okay, so he's not in the Orn Library. Um, where can I go to from here? I can go to the Humanities Building. At the end of your turn, if you are in the Humanities Building, discard the top X card cards of your deck where X is the amount of horror on you. Huh. Um, I don't know that I want to stay here. Well, there are two clues on it. Uh, sorry, there are four clues on it. Ooh. Two per investigator. Um, I don't think I want to stay here and investigate this. Can't blame you. Uh, where can I go to from here? I can go back to the library. Or to the quad. Uh, I'm going to go back to the quad. All right, that was my turn. Well, since you're losing it really fast, I am going to spend f my four resources to get the 45 automatic, which has four ammo. So I'm just going to convert these four resources into the ammo since it takes the same token. So. I got a gun, I got a flashlight, granted I've got a hex, but you know, I can handle that eventually. And I'm going to go investigate the administration building. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. So if you would flip that, please. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff that happens. Ooh, forced. After administration building is revealed, Put the set aside faculty offices into play. All right. And forced at the end of my turn, if I'm in the administration building, discard the top card of my deck. That's not terrible. No, but I mean, we'll find out. Yeah, and it has two clues on it. 
and it's got a shroud value of a four, but you have a flashlight, which makes it a lot easier to investigate. Yay! But I have to discard nope, this. Nope, that's at the end of your turn. Um, in that case... You have two more actions. One more action. Oh yeah, because you played a gun. Actions. Yeah, you have one more action. Because I got a gun. Hidden very well. Ugh, I need resources. I'm just going to take the resource and see what happens. So, does it go on the bottom? Or? No, you always discard face up. You never put a card on the bottom of your deck like that. I have to double check sometimes because I'm not 100% yeah. with it. Oh, that's sad. That's a new card I put in your deck. Uh, she had to discard Cat Burglar. Poop. Anyway, we refresh our business. Oop. We draw a card and get a token or a resource. <laughs> Amber gets two because she's cool like that. Yeah. And then we start the next round, put a Doom token on Quiet Halls. And I will draw my treachery. Yithian Observer. Pray. Fewest cards in hand. Amber, how many cards do you have in hand? Two, three, four, five. I have five. So we get to choose. Um, when it attacks, discard a card at random from your hand. If you cannot, it deals plus one damage and plus one horror. Um... You have a gun? I do. So I think you should fight the monster? But oh wait, I could disintegrate it? Maybe? Maybe. Spend one charge. This attack uses the thing instead of the thing. And deals an extra damage. Um, I could maybe fight this. I mean, I get extra or, fist, but for the gun. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me, let me hang out here and fight the monster. Okay. And so I'll put the monster in my threat area, and then you should keep investigating. But you also get to draw a threat. Treachery. Whatever. Oh, right. Treachery. Treachery. Oh, crud. I got a guy, too. Wizard of Yog sothoth Yep. Yog sothoth Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. That's fun. I'm going to say that. Prey. Least cards in hand. Okay, so we're tied, but this one's going to fight you. Okay. <laughs> Forced. When the engaged investigator draws a hex or pact card, um, Wizard of Yog Sothoth attacks that investigator. I already have a hex in you, my it's, thread it's area. It's when you draw. Okay. So you're fine. I mean, it still attacks you. It still en ends up hanging out here, attacking uh -huh. you. But the force bit only happens when you draw a card. Okay. Yog Sothoth. All right. So I'm going first. I'm going to I'm going to use my shriveling spell. I'm going to spend a charge to fight it and it uses will instead of um, strength and deals plus 1 damage. Uh, I got a minus 3. So that's a failure. Shoot. Uh, for my second action, I'm going to try again. Come on, Chaos Owl. I want this one. Uh, I got a minus 2. Uh, so that's still a failure. Um, Are you going to do it again? I mean, it's going to... This could be a really short adventure, guys. Uh, yeah, like, I got to kill it. Okay. Minus one, so I don't kill it. Uh, that was an awful turn. Don't laugh. No. Because now it's your turn. I laugh because it went minus three, minus two, minus one. Yeah, if I got to draw three more tokens, I might actually get somewhere. I know, right? Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to investigate the... If you investigate, the monster will get a free attack on you. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm not going to investigate. I'm going to try to... Um, well, I'm going to try to shoot the Wizard of Yog sothoth So, let's see what happens. Uh, spend one on the gun... Zero! Wait. So your value is... You have the wrong side of your card. Uh, Sorry. Your value is four, and its strength is four, so you deal two damage to it. Sweet! Alright. I'm going to do it again. Just because... Maybe. Maybe. Tombstone. Tombstone. Uh, tombstone is over here. Minus X. Discard the top two cards of your deck. X is the total printed cost of those discarded cards. So the total cost is one. Minus one. Uh, you still fail. <sighs> you have one action left. All right, I'm going to shoot at it again, because why not? <laughs> nah. 
Zero. Uh, that's a success. So you kill it. Yay! Bye bye, Yag Sothoth. No, he's actually worth points. So he hangs out over here, and we get to score him at the end of the game. Yay! So that's neat. Uh, we both actually drew monsters that are worth points. That's why they're so tough. Um, so then the monsters get to go, and there's only one left, and it's going to try and eat my face. Uh, and it will succeed, because my face is delicious. Um, so I have... Five, six. Six. I have five horror on me. Out of eight. Out of eight, yeah. This is not going well for us. Um, well, it's not going well for you. That's true. So then we draw our card and get our resource. And then put a thing on the... Th oh, you... No, that happened already. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Put a thing on the thing. Oh, and I missed a force trigger. When Yuthian Observer attacks me, discard a card at random from my hand. Um, my ritual candles. Okay, there. Okay. Now I draw a treachery. I hope it's not a monster. Terror from Beyond. Choose one of the following card types. Asset, event, or skill. And then everyone discards each card in his or her hand that is of the chosen type. If this is not if this is not the first copy of Terror from Beyond drawn this phase, choose two card types instead. Gross. Okay, so I have to choose asset, event, or skill, and then we discard all of those things. I think I want to choose skill. No. Oh! Okay. Well, oh wow, I hit a lot of cards in your hand. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, discarded. <laughs> Thanks. And then you draw one. <laughs> yeah, I lost all my. I lost half my deck. <laughs> your hand. Shut up. <laughs> oh, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So now you choose two. You choose uh, asset, event, or skill, and you choose two types. You should choose skill as one of the two types. Doesn't it have to be something that I actually have? No, it does not say that. Okay, skill's one of them. <laughs> And then you have to choose another one. So you have to choose asset or event. Uh, uh, asset. Okay. That hits all the rest of the cards in my hand. Well, except for two. But. Oh, uh, well. I know I've got more of this guy left, so <laughs> yay. That was a brutal turn. That was brutal. Okay, we are each down to two cards, and we are just... You're, you're going to go crazy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about the Scythian Observer. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and evade it. Okay. I'm going to... Is that the right play? Yeah, I think that's the right play. I'm going to discard a shortcut to give me an extra agility. And I'm going to try and evade it. Elder Sign, uh, which is a plus one for me. So that's a success. Yay! So then he goes here, and he is exhausted. And that was one action. Uh, for my second action, I'm going to YOLO out of here. Am I? Are you? He still has prey. Fewest cards in hand. I've got one. Two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move to the science building. After the science building is revealed, put the set-aside alchemy labs into play. There are two clues on this location. That was one, two... I'm going to investigate it, because we need some more clues. Yeah, we do. Uh, minus two. So I fail. Neat. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> well, just because it'll help, I'm going to get my emergency cash, which is gaining three resources, because it might help. And... 
Well, I'm going to move... We need these clues. Like, we need clues to advance the agenda. Okay, but I might actually be able to do something about the Yithian Observer. Okay, I mean, he's he's going to, on his turn, he's just going to unexhaust. I know. And then on the next round, he's going to move somewhere. So, like, he's not a huge problem right now, but if you think you can kill him, go for it. Or do whatever you're going to do. He's going to feel real stupid in a minute. I don't think I can kill him, but I can help. Okay, sweet. Go for it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Miskatonic Quad, where we have an exhausted Yithian Observer. I'm going to spend two resources to sneak attack. So I'm going to deal two damage to my exhausted enemy in that location. Neat. That was a good turn. I'm sorry for doubting you. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have one action left. Well, can't do bloody much, so I'm going to get a resource and just roll with it. Neat. All right, uh, so we get a resource and draw a card. <laughs> All right, I have a card in my hand. Okay, that might help. Um, the monster on exhausts. And... I don't know if he gloms onto Amber. I think he just does. We'll He's... figure it out. Uh, and then... We haven't what's... pulled the next monsters. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. Uh, uh, treacheries. So then we'll put a thing on the thing. It's got five of seven. Oy. And Whippoorwill. It's got a Loof and Hunter. Each investigator at Whippoorwill's location gets minus one to all scores. Uh, so it's just hanging out at the science building, and it's giving me a minus one penalty to everything. Hmm. That's a weird monster. What? It's scary. It's a scary monster. No, I know. I'm just sitting here contemplating the boning. It's it's hooting at us, and it's terrifying, and then you get a thing. Pretty sure it looks like a snake. I thought it was supposed to be a, some kind of bird, but it does look like a snake. We'll throw the picture up on the doodly-doo, and you guys can see it. I think it's a snake with wings. Anywho, going to pick a treachery, hoping not to get further. Okay, ancient evils. Place one doom on the current agenda. Oh boy. We are now at six of seven, so eep. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the Yithian Observer is fighting you because it's anytime the enemy is ready and in the same location as an investigator, it attacks that investigator. Yeah. And also you have fewer cards in hand than me. Thanks. Yeah. Scrub. Um, Jerk. So that Whippoorwill is giving me minus one to my investigate. So it's giving me minus one to everything, actually. But man, I really want to get those clues. Uh, I could probably just punch it. Punch it. Like I punch the rats. But it's also giving me minus two fight. Okay, so I'm going to engage the Whippoorwill as my first action. As my second action, I'm just going to try and punch it and hope I don't get anything negative. Come on. Minus one. Okay, so that was my second action. Uh, but now because I'm engaged with it, I have to kill it uh, because it's going to deal horror damage to me. So for my third action, I'm going to draw a token. It's a it's a skull. Uh, that's not the worst thing for my character. Skull is if you fail, discard the top three cards of your deck. But I treat the modifier on skulls as zero, so I don't fail. All right. Uh, and I kill the whippoorwill. But that took my whole turn. So now it's your turn. Well, I'm being attacked by the Yithian Observer. So it says that I need to discard a card at random from my hand, since I only have one. We'll no, ahead. that's this is that special reaction that hasn't happened yet. This this is a trigger. This happens when it attacks you, and it's engaged with you, but it's not attacking you yet. It, it, attacking you is its its turn. It hasn't taken a turn yet. Mm. So you don't have to discard that card. Well, all right, I'm not gonna discard that card. Um, 
doesn't exactly do me any good, though. But if you do anything but attack it, you take damage. Uh, attack it or try and evade it. Well, I am planning on attacking it, so this thing just won't come in handy, so I'm just going to set it aside. I have another shot yet in my automatic, so I'm going to try for that. Minus two. So you fail. So I fail. And the gun is no longer useful to me. Uh, but it's not discarded. It's still considered an asset in front of you. Okay. I think. We're going to go with it's still an asset. So I can't just flash it in the face with my flashlight, can I? No. You can you can uh, attempt a regular attack on it. Okay. Or you can, uh, but you would need, basically anything you try and do to, to deal with this monster, you would need a positive number for it. Because uh, you need a four to deal damage to it or a three to evade it. And you have a... Hey, you could try and evade it. You're more likely to succeed if you try and run away. Hmm. Should I just evade it then? You're you're statistically more likely to succeed if you try and run away. But I don't know what the best thing to do is because we're getting steamrolled. Yeah, we are. So I'm going to try to run away just so that, you know, I have enough sanity, unlike you, to keep going. So... Yeah, so you just draw a token. You're trying to evade it. You need a positive number or you need a not negative number. Hey, you got a positive number. Hey, I got a positive number. So, so... he becomes exhausted. Yay. And he hangs out here. Uh, and you have one action left. Well, I'm going to flee. So I might as well go to the student union, do you think? You, I don't know what's best right now. Well, then let's do that just because at this point we're getting steamrolled. After Student Union is revealed, put the set-aside dormitories into play. Heal one damage and one horror. Oh, spend two actions. Heal a damage and a horror. Bad. Um, but it has two clues on it. Well, I'm okay, so I can handle it. Uh, so then we draw a card and get a resource. And then... All the things refresh. Okay. And then put a doom counter on the agenda, which triggers it. It's got seven counters on it now. And then can I please have you read this? Sure. The university is dead silent. The shadows coil around your feet as you walk, and you swear there's something following you with each step you take. Is it just your imagination? Or is there really someone or something stalking you? Each investigator with five or more cards in his or her discard pile takes one horror. Yep, we did. Yep, I did that too. If the players have completed The House Always Wins, which we have, advance directly to Agenda 2B. All right. A cry of fear echoes through the campus and several students flee from the eastern side of the university where the science building can be found. Could this commotion be linked to Professor Rice's disappearance? If the dormitories is not in play, put it into play. If the experiment is in play, move one location towards the dormitories. If the experiment is not in play, spawn it at the science building. All right, so we will spawn the experiment at the science building. Which is where you are. Which is where I am. Right. Gross. Uh, the experiment gets three extra health per investigator. Uh, so it has 13 health. Uh, and it has, when the, enemy, when the enemy phase begins, it readies. And if the experiment is defeated, advance to Act 3B. All right, so there's a, a terrible monster. We're going to bone. We're... We are not going to bone it. We are going to get attacked by it. I meant to say we were going to... <laughs> Sir, I believe we're boned. Yes. All right. So the beast unleashed. Some kind of wild creature is on the loose. Whatever it is, it appears to be headed toward the university dormitories. When this agenda would advance by reaching its doom threshold, instead remove all doom in play and move the experiment one location toward the dormitories. If the experiment enters the dormitories, advance. Okay, um, now it has massive, I, this is the first time I've encountered the massive keyword, so we're gonna look at it real quick. 
excuse me while I flip around, massive. Massive. Uh, and it, um, <laughs> a ready enemy with a massive keyword is considered to be engaged with each investigator at the same location. <laughs> An exhausted enemy with the massive keyword is not considered to be engaged. An enemy with the massive keyword cannot be placed in threat areas. Uh, it resolves its full attack against each investigator in its location, one investigator at a time, basically in turn order. Uh, when it makes an attack of opportunity, it only resolves against the one who provoked it. It does not move with an engaged investigator who moves away. And if an investigator fails a combat test against it, no damage is dealt to allies. Okay. Oh, uh, gross. So that was that was just the um, that was just the agenda. We still get to draw from the treachery. Yeah. Oh God, we're gonna die. Beyond the veil. Put beyond the veil into play in your threat area if there is no copy of it in your threat area. And then it's the same card that Amber has, mm -hmm. and it's got surge. Uh, choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three cards. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horror. Uh, okay. So I'm going to discard a non-story asset you control into your deck. Uh, so the only thing that I have to do that is my shriveling spell. Shuffle my deck. And then discard the top three. Guts, scrying, forbidden knowledge. Okay. Uh, I didn't take the two horror, which is good because that would have driven me insane. Now it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Thrall. Location with the most clues. Uh, so far, that is the humanities building. So there is a thrall at the humanities building. <laughs> oh, gross. Now it's my turn. Um, I have some options, though. Good. What's its evade? Its evade is two. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast... Uh, let's see. I'm going to cast Blinding Light for two resources. I'm going to attempt to evade the monster using uh, will instead of agility, and if successful, I will deal one damage to it. Um, my will's four. I got a zero. Uh, so I successfully evade it. It exhausts, and it takes a damage. <laughs> so you bruised it. Only 12 to go, guys. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to YOLO. Oh, wait, maybe I'm not. Mm, maybe I'm going to be greedy. Man, we really need... We really need those clues. Really yeah, bad. Yeah, I know. Um, what's the... It's two? Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to investigate. I'm going to discard Perception to give me two extra lore for a total of five. I got a minus one, so that's a success. I get a clue. And draw a card. And then, oh, oh, that's so good. Okay. Um, <laughs> so as my third and final action, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to discard this flashlight because, man, we really need to get these clues. We need to stop screwing around. I will. <laughs> I'm not saying you're screwing around. I'm saying I spent a lot of turns doing nothing. I know. Uh, I got a success. Except going crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm really good at going crazy. Yep. Okay, so we have four clues. You do. I need, we only need six to advance the agenda. Okay. Um, I'll see what I can do then. Yeah, it is your turn. Okay, well, I'm going to put Leo De Luca into play to soak up some of these creature bullets, whatever. So that's five resources right there. Lord knows I got it. So that's good. And I'm going to investigate the student union. So what do I need? Um, you need to just basically just draw a token because the value, the target number is one mm -hmm. and your skill is three. Okay. And which skill? 
You're using lore, the book. Lore. Wait. I don't think you need to do anything. Do you not? I don't think so. It's because uh, you're, you are, I think you're more likely to succeed than fail. Hmm. Well, I'm still going to put burglary in just because I can because it adds another lore. If we need clues that badly, I'm not going to risk it right now. Sure. Minus two. Uh, so you've got a four. That's a success. Oh, good. See, told you it was useful. Yeah. So that gets discarded. Yep. And uh, you have... You actually have two more actions left. Okay, well, I'm going to investigate again just so that I can. No, I don't. I have one more left. Leo replaces himself. Oh, Leo replaces himself. Thank you, Leo. So, I'm going to investigate again because I can. Zero. Success. Yay! So, as your last action, we can cash in all our clues. Cashing in. And flip the act. Flip the act. Uh, I'll let you read the act since you did all the work. Okay. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> You were unable to find Professor Rice, but one of the students you spoke with mentioned a strange man entering Rice's office. Unfortunately, the door leading to the faculty offices is locked at this late hour. The student says the that the head janitor, Jazz, might be able to let you in if you can find him. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and set aside Jazz Mulligan into the encounter deck. Oh, weak sauce. Okay, so here's Jazz Mulligan. We take the discard pile and the encounter deck and we shuffle them together. Okay. And there are, there are about 30 cards in here, so we might just never see him. That's true. But we might get lucky, maybe? We could stand to use a little luck. That's true. And I'll give it a cut. Mm -hmm. Uh, Did I use all my actions? Yes, one to play Leo. Uh, and Didn't then, you say he replaces himself? Yes, yeah, so you had you had four actions. So Leo, right, and then you investigate, investigate, and then trigger the act. Oh. Yep. So you used all four. Okay then. Uh, replenish. No, nope, hang on. Let's read the next act to see what we have to do. Okay. Concerned for Professor Rice's safety, you seek out the head janitor who can let you into the locked sections of the campus. We can spend a clue to discard the top five cards of the encounter deck. Uh, if you discard Jazz for any reason, resolve his revelation. Uh, and then this advances when we take control of Jazz. So what we need to do is we need to get clues, and then we can spend clues to dig for Jazz. Mm -hmm. Although, real life lesson here. Be nice to janitors. Yeah, they're helpful dudes. They right. really are. So we draw a card, get our uh, kajigger. Kajigger. No, oh, my kajigger. <laughs> um, and then the monsters, ref f uh, they do their thing. If they can attack or move or whatever, but they don't, he just hangs out. He refreshes. Um, and then we put a doom counter on the beast unleashed. <laughs> And then I will draw Whippoorwill, Aloof, and Hunter. Each investigator at its location takes a penalty to all skills. Oof. And then you. You are just getting it, aren't you? Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. I know. Ancient evils. So the agenda gets another doom. Sorry. Oh, okay. So when this gets to doom, uh, and it move the experiment... Uh, one location towards the dormitories. Man, that was quick. So, what is... Miskatonic. Yeah, it's pro yeah, oh yeah, you can only move to the quad. Miskatonic quad. Yeah, so he's chilling here. Called it. Um. Well, called, not called. When did this Yithian Observer come out, and did we forget about him? We didn't forget about him. I just moved away from him. Uh, I moved to the student union uh, he, after I evaded him. He does still do a thing, though. Um, oh, boy. So he he hunts the investigator with the least cards in hand. And you have... Crap. Uh, one. Yeah, you have one. <laughs> um, so he hunts you. Yeah. Are we past the treachery phase, then? 
Yeah, you did your, so now it's my turn to go. Okay. Um, let's see what my options are. The monster went away. The whippoorwill's not attacking me, and I don't want to really spend a lot of time dealing with it. Um, I can't really, I'm not super great at investigating the administration building. I'm going to go to the alchemy labs because I want to see what happened to this monster. A pungent stench rises from the laboratory downstairs. The silence of the hall is broken by the unmistakable hiss of a burner. Oh god. So there are no clues here. Uh, but it has action investigate. If you are successful, instead of discovering clues, take the alchemical concoction from underneath this location, if able. Uh, we, I don't think we are able. Um, that was my first action. So as my second action, I'm going to move back to the science building and how do we get to the faculty office? Oh, we can't move in there yet. We don't know how. Yeah. Um, well, it looks like you have to go back to the quad, then to the administration, then to the faculty offices. Yeah, but I don't want to go there because there's a giant death monster. Yeah, I know. And I can't fight the whippoorwill. Um, I can't really do anything this turn. Um, I guess I'll just draw a card and hope I get something useful. Um, that was my. T oh, this actually, this actually could be really useful. Okay. Yay. Uh, so your turn, and you get four actions now because Leo is probably the best card in the game. Oh, bless you, Leo. Well. I'm getting attacked by the Ithian Obser Observer, am I not? Uh, yeah, he moved into your space. So, oh yeah, so he's engaged with you. Yep. So you either have to uh, attack him or try and evade him. Okay. Like, right away I can't do anything else before that? You can do other things, um, but every time you do a thing that isn't attacking him or evading him, he'll deal one damage and one sanity. Yeah, but he'll deal it to Leo, so <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one card, but at least it's a goodie. Jenny's Twin 45s, so that means I need to replace the automatic and the flashlight yeah. with that alone, but that's okay because I can add a whole bunch of ammo, and I have seven seven of these so honestly I think it'll be necessary to use all seven so I have seven shots on the twin 45 so the Yithian observer attacks you and Leo soaks up the attack always a sucker for a damsel in distress I know right <laughs> but at this point I'm going to attack the Yithian so <laughs> Well, I'm going to attack with one of these. Uh, yeah. Why not? Shoot him. Shoot him until he dies Shoot to him. death. Shoot him! Shoot him! And this, this attack gives you plus two strength and deals plus one extra damage. So that's cool. So you're, uh, your strength is five. Shall I? Yeah, let's see what it is. Plus one! Ah, oh, he takes two damage. Yay! You blow him away. Yay! And even better, he's worth points. Ha! <laughs> Yay! All right. Glad I did that. So, now that I got my guns... I'm going to sit here. Uh, what would be the most useful thing? Um, you could you could explore the dormitories and hope that it gives us a way to get clues. Well, then I'm going to explore the dormitories and hope it gives us clues. If investigators in the dormitories spend three... Oh, sorry. I don't understand it. Go for it. Uh, it means that if we spend three clues as a group... Uh, we just end the scenario and advance to ending R2. Um, but there are three clues here. Uh, no, there are three clues per investigator. There are six clues here. Ooh. And uh, the Doom Monster is trucking on its way here. Uh, so I moved there. Was that all of my... No, you played your gun. Yes. Shot the monster. Yep. 
moved here. Yeah. You have one action left. Okay. Should I investigate it? Yes. I think I should too. So. You just need to draw a thing and oh. hope you get uh, greater than one. You don't even have to. You just have to meet a one. Oh, mighty so. chaos owl. Minus three. Well, that's a failure. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yep. Well, boned. Okay, so it's the monster phase. Um, none of them do anything, which is good for us. And then we draw a card and get a resource. Put a doom counter on the agenda. Draw my treachery. Place one doom counter on the agenda. <laughs> All right, so the monster moves towards the student union. Ah, oh, cripes, I'm going to die. Uh, yeah, because when he gets to the student union... Right? Uh, then we flip the objective. We flip the agenda, yeah. Okay. Uh, we still have two turns before something bad happens to us. Theoretically. Um... Ah, well, it's another beyond the veil, since I already have one. Adios. But it's a surge. So, locked door. <laughs> oh, crud. <laughs> Attached to the location with the most clues and without a locked door attached. The attached location cannot be investigated. But I'm already in it, so does that matter? Yes. Darn it! Uh, you need to, as an action, test strength of four or uh, agility of four to pick the locks or break it down. Oof. Yeah, it's, those numbers are basically the same for you. Okay. Okay, well, uh... I know what I'm going to do. But now it's your turn. Yeah, now it's my turn. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go... I'm going to move to the quad as one. I'm going to move to the humanities building as two. This monster attacks me. The thrall. The thrall attacks me. Um, and then I'm going to spend one resource to play my second blinding light and attempt to evade the monster. Because this could just kill it. Oh, tentacles. Oh, tentacles. Uh, which, which, I think, which I think means I will die on my turn. Oh. Uh, oh, this is just a failure. Yeah, tentacles is just a failure. Oh, good. No, that's bad. I mean... Well, compared to dying. Yeah, it could be worse. Uh... Not a lot worse, but still, it could be worse. Pessimist. Uh, but I have a card in my hand that says, uh, play if you fail a skill test by two or less while investigating, and I needed to get a two to succeed, and I got a zero, so I failed by two or less, so I'm going to spend two resources. Look what I found! Uh, discover two clues at your location. Oh, that's what the card's called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so, all right, there things happen there. Uh, it's your turn. Okay, so I suddenly have to go up against a locked door. Uh, you have a, a clue? No, you have no clues. I have no clues. Yeah. But I can shoot at it. No, because this is just a strength test, not an attack. But it adds agility and... No, but this is, this is, this is a uh, spend on resource fight. And this is test strength. No, this doesn't add anything if it's in play. Mm. Well, mm. you know that'll be helpful. So I'm gonna make sure I have some liquid courage nearby, just in case. And that takes four supplies. So four gulps to empty my flask here. <laughs> just in case. So I just have to beat the door down. Yeah, you just have to either test agility or strength. It doesn't matter. It's the same result. Mm -hmm. And your your scores are the same. Okay. So however you thematically think Jenny Barnes would try and get through a locked door. Well, all I've got is to totally bash it like I do soda machines. <laughs> so... Zero. Zero? Fail. Darn. I basically need a positive number to yeah. darn it. Okay. Oh, wait. That was one. 
No, that was two because I have my liquid courage. Mm -hmm. But I get four because of Leo, right? Right. Okay, then. Then this is? Uh, the It's a minus one. Or yeah. actually, it's a minus three. Well, it's a, it's a fail either way. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One more. One more chance. That's not supposed to be in there. Oh, that is just so much fail. Yeah. Negative four. Uh, all right, so the monsters go, and the monsters don't do anything. <laughs> and then we get a resource and draw a card. Um, and then we put a doom counter on the thinger, and I'll draw my treachery. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three. I don't have any assets, so this card doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't go there. That goes there. So then it's your turn. And it's my turn. Terror from Beyond. Oh, that's fun. Choose one of the following card types, asset, event, or skill, and we each have to discard the cards that have that. Yep. Oy. You can choose a type you don't have in your hand. No, I know. I know. It's just I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to use telepathy to figure out how not to hose us by... Gotcha. You know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm going to go with... Asset? Yes. That was the right choice. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. We're good. Cool. For now. Um, I'm going to play this barricade. Non-elite enemies cannot move into the attached location. But if I move out, the barricade is discarded. Uh, and then as an action, I'm going to spend a clue, discard the top five cards of the deck, and look for Jazz. Okay. One, two... Oh, got there. Yes! So Jazz appears at the location... Now, question real quick. Uh-huh. Did we add the doom counter to the agenda? Yeah. Okay. Then we're good. So that was action number two. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Jazz has parlay. Test lore. If successful, take control of Jazz. So I'm going to test lore. And uh, I have a three, and I need a three to succeed. So I got a minus four. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. So that gets me nowhere. But it's your turn. Uh, we don't need clues anymore. Do we not? Well, no. Because we found Jazz. I mean, we don't need clues at this exact moment. Okay. Um. So I don't necessarily know that you need to break down the locked door. Um. Can't I just do it so that there isn't a locked door anymore? You can, but I don't know if you need to waste the actions. Um, yeah, but I have something that might help. Okay, go for it. Okay, so we're going to put manual dexterity into play, which helps out with my... Yep, you now have a five. Yes, I do. So I might actually be able to break this down. Come on, chaos owl. That's not supposed to be in there. Okay. I, bet I, I bet that's me. I bet I'm the one that keeps putting resource tokens in the owl's head. I bet it is too. Minus one, success. Yay! You break down the locked door. I broke it down. See? You're gonna have more faith in me. Um, so I guess we do still, we can use clues to trigger this event. Um, so maybe also we get a victory point if we clear all the clues off this location. So that might be worth it. Okay. I don't know. Well, since that was just one thing. Now you have three actions left. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, this, uh, when you're successful, you draw a card. And you were successful, so you should draw a card. I should draw a card. That might be useful. That might be useful. So. Oh, wait, I forgot about the thrall. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's a really bad thing. Uh-oh. Uh, I have to walk back my turn. Okay. Um, Should I finish mine first, or...? Well, so the Thrall attacked me on its turn, and it did a damage and a sanity. Oof. So... 
Okay. So Jazz was... The second one. Yeah, he was the second card down. I had two clues. Uh, so I need to deal with this guy. Um, I can't kill him efficiently. So I'm going to try, I'm going to discard Barricade to try and evade him. I got an Elder Sign, which is a success. So that's good. So he's evaded. Then I'll spend the clue to reveal Jazz. And then I'll try and make him my bro. Uh, and I fail. Okay. So, there. That didn't change the outcome too much, uh, but we have one less asset. We have the, the barricade could have been really handy for keeping me from getting eaten by monsters. I guess. Uh, and then you did everything on your turn. No, I didn't. Didn't you? No. Oh yeah, you have a bunch of actions left. Mm -hmm. You have three actions left. Okay, so I took one of my four actions. So, while I'm at it, I'm going to start investigating that because I feel like we could use some clues. Okay. So, what do I need to do? Uh, everything is a success unless it's minus three or greater. <laughs> minus, minus four. four. <laughs> that would happen. So that's two. I'm just going to keep investigating. Minus two? That's a success. Yay! There's another resource in there. <laughs> Tentacles? Fail. Nah. All right. Here, well, see, I still get one more. Let me more. see the owl for a second. No, that was your. That was three. Because you failed twice. Four. And then you uh, you broke down the barricade as your fourth action. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. The, you heard the locked door. You broke the locked door as your fourth action. That was my first action. Or as your. Oh, I'm sorry. As one of your four actions. I haven't done four. Yeah, because you invest. You you successfully investigated once. You broke down the locked door, and then you failed to investigate twice. You drew a minus four and a tentacles. Oh, pfft. I always forget about the tentacles. That's how hentai starts, doesn't it? Well, usually with tentacles. Uh, however, this isn't really a tentacle monster. It's more like a crazy lizard man. Yeah, I know, right? Or like a plant man. Like poison ivy did, like, fed a... You'll, I'll put the picture up. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least I have one clue. Um, so the monsters that do things do things. Uh, he has hunter, so he's going to move here. The thrall refreshes. He refreshes and then, then attacks me again. Okay. Does the experiment move at all? Um, not yet. It will. Uh, we draw our card and get our resource. And the doom token. The doom token. So then, yeah. Then he moves to the dormitories. Yeah. Which flips. Uh, before you are able to act, you hear screaming from the northern side of campus. You begin to make your way toward the screaming, your vision darkening with each step. As soon as the creature enters sight, you feel the darkness overtake you, and a force pulls you out of your consciousness. Everything goes black, and you pass out. Each investigator immediately takes three horror, and then proceeds to the fourth ending. Oh, uh, you just went totally yeah. nuts. So I go totally bonkers, which means that uh, I will take a trauma, and I'll have permanently one fewer sanity. That sounds right. And... Proceed to resolution four. Ugh. You awaken hours later, exhausted and injured. You're not sure what you saw, but the sight of it filled your mind with terror. From other survivors, you learn that a rabid dog of some sort found its way into the university dormitories. The creature attacked the students inside, and many were mauled or killed. We will record that the investigators were unconscious for several hours. Professor Warren Rice was kidnapped. Darn it. Um, each investigator earns one experience as he or she reflects on the night's events. And we earn one XP for each card in our victory display. So we will earn a total of uh, one for clearing out the library. And two, three for warding, for killing the two monsters. And then one for the ad adventure. So we'll earn four total. Okay. We will record that the investigators failed to save the students. We are haunted by guilt 
and add one tombstone token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. Ah. Oh, this was rough, guys. This was. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next week we'll start on chapter two. I don't know what it's called yet because I haven't bought the pack. Yeah, if you enjoyed our content, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the doodly-doo down below. And uh, we'll see you next week.